Hi, I'm Bobby Brunker, project engineer here at AY McDonald. Today, we are going to go over how to build a submersible pump. In this video, I'll be guiding you through the use of AY McDonald pump products. This video is intended for trained professionals only. Before we get started, let's go over our toolkit that is needed to build this pump today. For this assembly, we're going to need a torque wrench kit, a clearance kit, a fixture seat kit, jig set kit, and an assembly kit. Now that we know the tools that we need to use today, let's get to the assembly process. First, we're going to grab our pump shaft right here, and then we're going to install our pump shaft key, like so. Then, we're going to take our pump coupling and insert our pump shaft into it, and we're going to insert it with this keyhole right here. Once we've done that, we are going to tighten down the set screws with Loctite and our Allen wrench until it's secure. Once it's secure, we'll go ahead and fit the coupling and shaft to our motor. We'll flip it over and tighten the connection with our Allen wrench. Then we'll lock it down on our fixture seat and tighten it to make sure it's secure. Now that we have our fixture set, let's get into the assembly process. We're going to start with our bottom stage impeller. And we're going to slide it over a pump shaft like this and secure it to the bottom of our interconnector. And then we're going to take our wrench and then we're going to tighten it down. All right, now that we have our first impeller installed, let's tighten it down to torque. For this specific assembly, we're going to tighten it down to 80 Newton meters. So we're going to sl slide our torque nut over our pump shaft and over our impeller. And then we're going to take our torque wrench and tighten it down to torque. And we're going to wait until we hear a click sound from our torque wrench. And you heard the click there, and that means that that impeller is tightened down to torque. Now that we have our impeller tightened down to torque, we're going to install our stop ring and slide it over the pump shaft like so. And then we're going to install our bottom stage diffuser. Now that we have our bottom stage installed, we're going to install our other stages and we're just going to keep sliding on our impellers and diffusers until we get to the top. And take note as you're building up the pump that the diffuser will not rotate as you are working through this pump. So as we go through each stage, each stage needs to be torqued down uh, to 80 newton meters, so just remember that as we go through the assembly process. And wait until you hear that click. Like so. Now that we have installed our top stage impeller, we'll remove the pump from the fixture stand here and install our top stage diffuser and discharge. So before we install our top stage diffuser, we are going to remove it from this fixture stand interconnector to our assembly interconnector. So just like we did before, we're going to flip this pump over and remove the Allen. Then we'll take off our fixture stand interconnector and we'll attach our assembly interconnector. Now that we've removed our pump from the fixture, we will install our top stage diffuser, our check valve, and our discharge. And once we have everything assembled together, we'll install our straps. So we'll sl slide in our straps and install them over our 
discharge, like so. And then we're just going to hammer each of these straps down into position. And then we're going to install our strap nuts. So as we install these strap nuts, make sure to use a food grade never seize to prevent the galling of the strap nuts. And once you get the strap nuts hand tight, we will tighten them down to torque. And for this torque, we're going to go to 45 Newton meters. Now that we're done with the build process, we need to confirm our tolerances of our pump. And we're going to do that with our depth tool right here and our depth caliper. So we're going to use our depth tool to pull out our shaft to check the down position. And then we're going to use our depth caliper to check shaft clearance. For this pump, it should be between 71 and 71 and a half millimeters. Now we'll use our depth tool to push in our shaft and check the up position. And like before, we're going to use our depth caliper to check shaft clearance. And it should be between 75 millimeters and 77 millimeters. Now that we've finished the assembly process and checked our tolerances, this pump's ready to be installed in the field. If you have any questions about this assembly process, please call us at 1-800-AY-CARES. Once again, I'm Bobby Brunker, project engineer here at AY McDonald. If you found this video helpful, follow us on social media.